Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in a 20-person free-for-all battle. I kind of want to... Okay, now I'm not in that spot anymore. I think we'll rock with the spot that we have, see what we can do here. 17 players are left. Two of them are right on top of each other. Oh, no, that's so terrible for them. What terrible luck, unless one of them purposely went there. Honestly, it's not that great of a spot. I always like my spot. If you're looking for how to pick out a good spot, what I always say is you can always look to see there's always going to be a couple very, very attractive spots. You don't want to go with that. You want to go with something off to the side of that because people typically compete for the same spot. And then you'll be fighting with three people for a spot that isn't as good as a, a second tier spot like this one. And we'll see, we'll try and prove that here and just see how well we can do as we do miss a <laughs> send opportunity. Perfectly fine. Professional here. Watch out. Coming through. Uh, let's go into cat. Faith is good. You are good. You are good. And there, and what my goal is, is I want to cut up north and south to prevent demon, with the demon, oh, okay, this uh, potential Z fan from getting over. And then I want to really push over to the west as much as possible to potentially grab some of this land away from these guys and kind of weaken their overall position as well. So let's go here. This is a really good target for us. This is good. Carly is good. Let's push back into you, even though you're not the best. Sue is what I've been looking for, though. Oh, Boris. Thank you so much. Oh, two Borises. All right, so we're off to a pretty good start. Demon does have the slight advantage over us, but we'll be able to kind of make that come back or bring that back a little bit, I should say, as we do have a little bit more um, opportunities than he does. And I'd really love to get over here if I could just click that right. There we go. Let's go into Elsa. And let's really push down. There's only a couple more bots left with pushing you and down here and see if we can get any of Crimea. And oh, gosh. Go yeah, OK, good. We're able to get over there. We finish up our expansion. Oh, this is a bot. I, oh my gosh, I just completely missed that. So we're sitting about 400,000, looking pretty strong with it. We have some opportunities. Ottoman Empire is going to be a bit of a challenge. He's fighting Joan already, which is actually pretty good for us because we can go into Ottomans and take out a very strong player. At a bit of a discount, we'll go ahead and give Demons a little bit of a truce as we are up to almost a million. We'll just continue to keep saving as long as these two are fighting. We don't have anything. Is Union a bot? No, I don't think so. Okay, so uh, Ottomans is now getting up pretty high. Oh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's start pushing into him and start bringing him down as he's very still aggressively going into Joan. And we are doing a great job of kind of pushing him back. We do need to keep an eye on Demon's troops as he's kind of matching us a little bit. He's actually surpassed us ever so slightly. But with 200,000 people, I think we'll be able to get that back rather quickly. He full sends on Joan. Oh, no, buddy. Okay. Well, that's really bad for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I want your land as well. So we get all of this land. We're sitting at a pretty big advantage on land, but troops, not so much. Demon still has 3 million. We might need to worry about him. We have Christopher Ryan's YouTube down here. And uh, a, um, what I'm assuming is a fake Green Biscuit. Green Biscuit, I don't believe has ever played. I'll go ahead and give you a truce. Ever played with, a, uh, with his actual name. I think he plays otherwise. Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably not though. Okay. So we'll just continue to keep saving up here, getting up to our maximum interest. Then we'll push down through the Baltic Union and then also Union. And then potentially start to push our way through these players over here. Although we do have a truce with this guy. We'll see how long that, if that lasts or not. But uh, continuing just to save up, I do want to get to maximum interest, even though this guy is now attacking. He's picked a target. It's just kind of for our overall run and strength. As Demon is attacking the Republic over here, he's about to get very big after taking out all of Green Biscuit. Green Biscuit has now become a bot which is a little bit scary over here. These, oh, player 512 cuts off Saul Goodman, and he gets very angry about that. Let's go ahead and start pushing into Baltic down here and just making our way through this one player as he does full send us immediately, and then we'll push into Union as well. See if we can get him to full send us in addition. We're pretty strong. I'm not that worried about it, even though we're not quite at our full interest just yet. We are going to be able to work through Union, and once we get through Union, things are going to be a lot better for us just in terms of our overall prospect. It's going to be pretty hard for anybody to take us down. The player I'm probably most worried about is Iron Man over here. Iron Man's very strong, and I think by the time that I get over into player 512 and Iron Man that they're going to uh, rally against me, if you will. So we GG's to Union. Sorry, I did have to take you out. I will let you have an island over there if you want to stick around. And uh, now we'll just push through player 919. I think that'll be the play, but I, again, want to make sure that my troops are up very, very high. I'm going to go into 919 
and then Israel, and then just kind of see what I can go next. So let's go ahead and take out player 919 and make him a little bit on the weaker side. Again, very worried about these three. Don't want to touch all three of them at once. Want to take one of them out one by one. And I think the way to get through that is potentially going through Israel. And ooh, Iron Man is going into Christopher. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate for him. But uh, now we've gained a lot of land of Christopher Fulsons will be probably the beneficiaries of that since we do have a truce with him. And we'll start pushing through Israel, see if we can get over into Iron Man and save our potential ally over here. So we'll just go ahead and do all of this. Hopefully Iron or Christopher kind of recognizes what's going on and doesn't want to attack us because I'd much rather go into Israel or Iron Man right now. And this seems like a great opportunity to do it. So let's start pushing into him right now, giving him some nice big attacks right off the bat. As Christopher has joined in, player 512 is attacking us. Don't do that. Let me just kick you off real quick. Okay. So now this guy above is a bot, and there goes Iron Man full sing into Christopher. We'll just go straight into player 512 taking him down. And Iron Man goes down as well. He does leave and becomes a bot. So oh, let me finish you off. So we were able to save Christopher. We were able to keep Demon around, which is good for us, you know, just building friendships. <laughs> And uh, we'll just quickly finish off you. We've got 12 main troops left. I'm not even looking at the troops anymore. Let's zoom through here, see if we can get up into uh, this Republic player. Give me the boat, please. There we go. Keep going into this. And voila. So nice little victory for us on Crimea. Uh, things went really well for us in the beginning. Have a truce with Demon was very nice for us. We'll give a little kissy face for the boys as we do look to peace out and move on to the next game. So as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say GG's to all involved. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, next map up is going to be a little snow action here. We're in teams and 23 players are involved. We're on the red team, so we're trying to get a nice little spot for ourselves down here. And we'll give our buddy a little bit of space and hopefully we can... Oh gosh, look at the three players on the white team right there. That's going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. We did see the bigger landmass in hopes of ha capturing this for ourselves. I know that was my um, thought process. I'm sure that was my team's thought process, but things are not looking good for us as we even have a white player above us as well gosh this is going to be a difficult one uh i don't know if we're going to win this one just based off position that guy right there is going to be a huge problem and our buddy to the south on our team is already full sending right away he's going to be facing an onslaught of three players that is not looking good i'm hoping he's going to be able to recover but in all honesty those three are going to gang up on him and i don't even think he's going to have the opportunity to cut yep he's already gone he does, he's, I was kind of hoping at the very least he'd be able to slow him down slightly for us, but that is not what's going to happen here. So we're going to have to really take charge of our own destiny, play a lot of the diplomatic game, I do believe, with the yellow team, and hopefully we can kind of get something down. What my strategy here is, is I do want to push up to the player above us as much as possible and kind of choke him off, but he's actually in trouble. There's a lot of white bots around him, so we don't actually need to do that right now. We'll take our time, find the right bots. Most importantly, we need to make sure that we're hitting at the right time and we just missed two right away. So things are, okay, the white player below us now has the crown. We can potentially get that back. There is a lot of opportunity for us to grow up north. I'm going to be very aggressive in this expansion because these uh, white bots are only really going to have me to attack. So I do need to be aggressive with that as we get the crown back. So we'll just keep pushing into all of these bots. Hopefully we don't get attacked by Osk quite yet as we are going to um, potentially be fighting all of them at once or at least two of them at once. So we'll just keep pushing up here. Things are looking nice for us, but it's honestly not that great. Uh, the yellow team down here is going to be a bit of a problem. We'll go ahead and give him a truce and see if he's interested in that. We're missing borders with him, which is perfectly fine. Osk is attacking us, so we'll give him a quick uh, kind of to do but that's really a potentially downfall for us with the other white player below us hopefully we get away with this we do have a lot of land to yield so we could potentially get away with an attack on us i'm going to leave dupa for a while i do not need to add more giant players to my list of enemies that we're gonna have to fight as imperium has 700,000 to our 600,000 so things again not looking the best fortunately for us we do have at least one teammate below us who's doing well wow look what's happening up above us these are all bots and there's a player 213 who's also a bot we need to get up there pronto if we can capture that land that is a game changer for us because right now the blue team has first and second place but nobody else can get this land other than me this is absolutely huge this is a, a game changer right here if we can get away with this we have so much free land to get up here this is going to change everything so We've already, I think we're going to get into second place right here. 
just off this land without attacking. Let's grab this down here to stop that blue player from coming in a little bit more. Let's go into you, and we jump into first place. Wow, okay, so that was a lot more beneficial than I could have imagined. It. We were like a, at 60,000 when we started, and we get 30,000 more land. So now we have the pleasure of just saving up and waiting for an opportunity to kind of do something else as France does go down. So um, we'll push into this guy right here. Now that the white team is not so much of a threat, this guy is full sent. So let's jump on his land before anybody else realizes. It is not the most beneficial thing to push into another player who has about 3 million troops. But for the land that we're getting, it's definitely worth the risk. We'll make it up in a couple of ticks of interest as the blue player is also getting attacked. Let's just go ahead and boat over here. And um, I don't really want to go into the two blue players, honestly. I might though. I might. We'll just save up here. Our, our teammate below has been able to wipe out two of the white players. We'll help out take out the third here so he can kind of focus in on the yellow team a little bit as he is getting attacked. He only has 3 million troops. We'll keep an eye on him to see if he needs a donation, but I think he's going to be able to hold his own. Yeah, he's got 4 million troops, so things are going to be just fine. This guy Dupa is only at 140,000. Ah, I was really hoping he would kind of survive. So let's go into this and this, and we'll get a lot of land. We do have about 12 million troops, so... Things are looking good for us. Let's go into the Mongolian Empire right away. Player 154 does full donate. So we'll grab all of his land in addition. Hopefully our teammate's able to work his way through Nevum and up to Mongolian Empire to help me. But fortunately for us, the two blue players do not quite have borders on me yet. So what my goal is, is now that we are at red interest, is to start attacking Mongolian Empire. Whittle him down. Right now the red team is in first and second place. So we're still in a good position. Mongolian Empire is offering us a truce, but that is not something we really want right now. We're going to push down Mongolian Empire. Our teammate is just being very passive against Nevum. He only has 600,000, but he's really looking to build up to red interest before he moves in. The black player does attack Mocha Steve, so now we are able to just continuously attack Mongolian Empire. Our teammate has 20 million troops. We have 32 million. This game is going to be hard to recover. It would take my teammate making a very foolish move and me somehow not being able to recover that land in order for this team to win. But that is very unlikely at this point as we are just going to continuously wrap up things here and work to make them all kind of go down together. And that is the end of Mongolian Empire. We'll start working through Mocha Steve. And let's get some, uh, let's get a big attack in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, We'll start getting it here. Uh, Mocha Steve is going down, and there we go. So as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say GG's to all involved, and thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.